Create additional viewports. In this exercise, you'll duplicate the plan viewport and change the settings of the copy so that it presents only hard landscaping information. You'll then add the hardscapes budget report to the sheet. Create a hard landscaping plan. Click on the first viewport, the one showing the top plan view. Choose Edit, Duplicate. Select the copy if it's not already selected. On the Object Info palette, change Layer to Sheet 2 Hard Landscaping. On the Navigation palette, click the Sheet Layers tab and make Sheet 2 Hard Landscaping the active layer. Select the viewport. On the Object Info palette, change the following fields, leaving all other fields on their default settings. Drawing Title Hard Landscaping Layout. Click the Layers button and make Green Roof Planting and Planting invisible. Click OK. Click the Classes button and make Dimension visible. Click OK. The viewport is now displaying only hard landscaping information and the dimensions created earlier are visible. Double-click the viewport and click Annotations. Click OK. Select the drawing label. On the Object Info palette, change Number Style to Drawing and Sheet. From the Dim's Notes toolset, choose Constrained Linear Dimension. Add further dimensions. Create one to show the width of the path. and a second to show the tread depth of the steps. Click Exit Viewport Annotation. Create a 3D construction drawing. Duplicate the hard landscaping layout viewport. Move the copy downward on the page so it's below the original. Use the Object Info palette to change the following. Drawing Title, Green Roof, Structure, Detail. Layers, turn off all layers except Green Roof Structure. Scale, 1 to 25. View, left isometric. Background render, hidden line. Double click the viewport and select annotations. Click OK. Use select similar to select the dimensions you placed on the viewport above and delete them as they're not appropriate to this view. Press X to return to the Selection tool. Select the drawing label and use the Object Info palette to change the drawing number to 2. Move the label to a position beneath the structure. On the Basic palette, choose the Callout tool next to the Text tool. Click on a space to the right of the structure and then click on the top of the structure. In the Notes Manager callout dialog, enter the text Reclaimed Timber. Click OK. Place another callout, labelling the brick pillar with the text Brick Pillar. Click OK. Click Exit Viewport Annotation again to return to the sheet layer. Press X to return to the Selection tool. On the Object Info palette, click Update to render the viewport. Add the Hard Landscaping Worksheet. On the Resource Browser, click the Home button. Scroll to the bottom of the Resource Browser and locate the Worksheet's heading. Double-click the Hardscapes Budget Worksheet. It will display on the Sheet layer. Using the Selection tool, 
click and drag the worksheet to move it where you want on the sheet. You can add additional text to a sheet layer if you wish. Create a planting plan. Select the hard landscaping layout viewport and duplicate it as you did earlier using Edit Duplicate. On the Object Info palette, change the layer to Sheet 3 Planting to move the viewport to this layer. Make Sheet 3 Planting the active layer using the Navigation palette. Select the viewport. On the Object Info palette, click the Layers button. Change the visibility of all layers except planting and green roof planting to grey. Click OK. On the Object Info palette, click the Classes button to change the visibility of the following classes and then click OK. Dimension Invisible. Landscape Area Tags Visible. Plants Component Bloom Invisible. Plants Component Canopy Invisible. Plants Component Colour Fill Invisible. Plants Component Interior Line Work Invisible. Plants Component Outline Invisible. Plants Component Tags Visible. Click OK. On the Object Info palette, make the following changes. Drawing Title, Planting Plan. Scale, 1 to 50. The viewport is, once again, too large for the sheet. Double click the viewport and choose Edit Crop. Click OK. Click the Rectangle tool on the Basic palette. Draw a rectangle around the rear garden planting area, including the tags. Click Exit Viewport Crop at the top right of the screen. The viewport now displays only the area within the cropping rectangle. Add the plant schedule. On the resource browser, click the Home button to ensure you're looking at the contents of the current file. Locate the worksheet, Plant List Simple. Double click it. The worksheet will be displayed on the sheet layer. Using the selection tool, click and drag on the worksheet to move it to a position below the planting plan.